welcome to the first installment of Weekend in the Bean. I'm here in Dewey Square's Farmer's Market in the heart of Boston's financial district. Today we're going to meet vendors, try new food, and hopefully get a free meal out of it. Let's go check it out. <laughs> hey guys, I'm with Kristen from Chica de Gallo. So can you tell us a little bit about your guacamole company? Yeah, um, so the company is based in Jamaica Plain and um, we make everything fresh every Monday and Tuesday and then we deliver it to stores and we sell it at a lot of farmers markets. I'm here with Brian, he's from Q's Nuts. So Brian, can you tell us about your sweet roasted nuts? I absolutely can. We're a local uh, nut roasting company out of Somerville, Massachusetts. We've been roasting for over 10 years. We do a lot of different flavors. I'm here with Dan Wadley from Kimball Fruit Farm. So can you tell us a little bit about like where you're located, your hours, everything like that? Sure. We're in Hollis, New Hampshire, Pepper, Mass. We do 110 acres of vegetables and 40 acres of tree fruit. I'm here with Joe from Stowe Greenhouses. So Joe, can you tell us a little bit about your business? Sure. We're a um, greenhouse that's about 40 minutes outside of Boston. We grow 12 varietals of lilies and about 96 varieties of wildflowers. We're Red's Best. Uh, we are located on the Boston Fish Pier. And what we do is we work with local day boats to ensure the freshest catch delivered right to uh, Boston farmers markets. Brian, I see you have a wide variety of nuts here. Can you tell us about these nuts? <laughs> and a lot of Emerson Emersonians enjoy fun stuff. So do you guys have apple picking? We do have apple picking. And the whole orchard's open and you can, we have 35 to 45 varieties, so you can pick any one of those that you'd like. How about dim apples? I'm with Green Kale, and we have some breaking news. Green Kale, is it easy being green? There you have it, folks. It's not easy being green. Is there anything else you want to tell the viewers about your greenhouse? Um, like I said, flowers brighten everybody's day. It's kind of a fun thing to kind of sell because it's, it sells itself. Can I try your guacamole? Yes, of course. Oh. Uh, let me go around. Oh my god. This looks awesome. You should feel the heat from this in about, after about five seconds of eating it. Guys, it's really hot. <laughs> oh my god. You know what else is hot? Weekend in the Bean. We like to keep everything as local as possible. We source all of our nuts here in Boston. We get all of our ingredients from a store in Cambridge. Everything we make is, you know, vegetables and fruit. We try to buy locally as much as we can. Sushi is probably the easiest fish to prepare and that you don't have to cook it at all. You could just come to the stand here at the market, you could buy it, and then you could eat it right there if you wanted. Or you could bring it back to your dorm room. There you have it, nothing fishy here. So, thanks guys. <laughs> nothing, nothing fishy to see here. Nothing fishy to seafood here. Well, there you have it, guys. The Dewey's Farmer Market is here every Tuesday and Thursday. For more information, visit bostonpublicmarket.org. Again, I'm Julia Linger, and you've been watching Weekend in the Beast. <laughs>